Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, so uh, <coughs> I'm going to uh, give you an introduction to this uh, new initiative which, uh, which is now happening <coughs> thanks to the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Uh, and uh, they are calling it the India Urban Data Exchange. And, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> it's been like a, a really exciting uh, experiment, I would say, uh, to, you know, kind of try to get so many of our Indian cities to become smart. And uh, um, it's, uh, it's actually a work in progress. And... Uh, one of the, the, the focus uh, for in the first phase has been, you know, this notion of an integrated command and control center where uh, the city administrator, uh, you know, is expecting to see all the information in one place in the command and control center so that they can uh, respond to various situations uh, and deal with them. Now, uh, as we go forward, actually, uh, what is happening is that uh, over the last uh, year or so, uh, people are kind of realizing that, okay, ICCC is an important piece, but it's not the only piece. I think we need to do something more. And um, also many issues have come up, and, uh, and per perhaps Mr. Suresh might talk more about them later. Uh, in the way we have kind of gone about this, uh, there's a lot of vendor lock-in, a lot of proprietary uh, implementations uh, are happening and so on. Um, but, you know, it's a learning process. None of us really knew what smart cities were. All of us are learning, and even the ministry and all the cities are also learning. And uh, uh, I would say it's, it's, it's an ongoing journey. And uh, one of the things uh, the, the, the government has also realized is that, uh, you know, we need to kind of now probably look forward to change the way they are kind of implementing these smart city solutions, and especially allow new solution providers also to get into the game. Uh, can I really open up the ecosystem, and uh, and but at the same time do it in a way which builds on existing in, uh, investments. So uh, so in that uh, context, um, you know one of the, the the most important recurring assets uh, is really the data which the the cities are now slowly starting to capture. Um, and uh, what can you do more with that data, not only to help the cities, but also to enable new kinds of uh, innovations to emerge. And uh, a critical, uh, there are many problems in this whole chain of data. Uh, it, it's firstly to get and harvest the data itself is a, in a proper way is a, is a problem because we don't have that culture of using data, uh, frankly speaking. Second thing is to empower uh, people to be able to use the data. Okay, data is there, but can I get access to the data? You know, that, I mean, that is still a problem. So the imp data empowerment is really important. And uh, related, and, and what is kind of also preventing that from happening is that there are no standard interfaces, uh, standard ways of getting this data, standard formats, and so on. And uh, uh, so, so this is where uh, uh, there is a need to actually uh, think of creating this uh, kind of, uh, some kind of a standards-based framework for uh, getting access to these urban data, uh, not only to benefit various departments within the cities, but also benefit the larger ecosystem in the cities. And uh, this is what uh, led or motivated the, uh, the creation of this, uh, uh, this project called IUDX, India Urban Data Exchange, and uh, in a nutshell, it is a standard way to interconnect various uh, data platforms which are already emerging. <clears throat> so uh, in any, any city, you know, you have multiple departments, multiple organizations, and, uh, uh, you know, each of them have their own way of uh, implementing their IT system, way of collecting data, some may be on the cloud, some may be on premises, et cetera, et cetera, right? And uh, the goal of IUDX is to help get access to the data which is there in these uh, particular different platforms. So that you have new kinds of applications which emerge. Now, I'm calling out a very specific application for women's safety, which is of great interest right now in India uh, and, 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 the, and the Indian government. Um, as an example, and this is one of the 
important use cases which uh, we are kind of working on as part of this IUDX uh, development and trialing. And if you think about this particular application, um, you know, just like you would like to know what is the congestion level in a traffic street, and based on that, you know, Google gives you a plot, path, right? Similarly, maybe there are, you would like to get a safety index of a street or a locality. Is it safe to go there? No, I mean, sadly, that is the state of affairs. And as a common citizen, you would like to know if the cab driver suddenly takes a different route, uh, saying that, no, there is actually less congestion, you would like to know, I mean, you know, is it, is it really safe to go there, right? And if you think about that, of course, there are many factors which lead you to think about safety and is it something safe or not. Uh, there is some hard information and also there is subjective information. So that's what makes this also from a technical perspective a very interesting problem for a, a technical person. Uh, the notion of safety is subjective and you have to learn uh, each person's preference of safety. But having said that, information, uh, historic database information from police uh, you would like to know uh, information about traffic, which is live information. You would like to know information about properties in various places, what kinds of properties there are. Um, of course, you need GIS information, and you need live information from traffic cameras, street lights, et cetera, et cetera, to really put together this new application to give you a safety index. Right? And uh, uh, this is where something like a, a data exchange platform is really important, which if it can be standardized, because I can still build this application in a particular city by calling up the traffic police, et cetera, et cetera, understanding the format and develop a custom application, but you would like to do this in a general way. I do it for one city, it should run across all the cities. And that's where this kind of standardization is uh, kind of important. And uh, this standardization will enable hopefully new kinds of applications and also help the cities to improve their operational uh, efficiencies and importantly, build on existing investments, right? So that is the thing. Now, what exactly is this particular platform? Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, the, the, the two key stakeholders uh, which we are keeping in mind uh, when we are designing this particular standard uh, and the platform. One is, of course, the providers or the guardians of data. Uh, the city administrator, the CEO of a smart city or the commissioner of police or, you know, whoever they delegate authority to to give permission. Uh, right now, even though the government says it's open data, they're supposed to share data, they are naturally scared about releasing data. Okay, they have data, but even for this particular activity, they said, I'll give data to ISC because you're a research institution, you should not share it with anyone else. And it's as innocuous a data as just the pollution level in from sensor they are put. And uh, just because that culture of, you know, what is the implication of open data, they're kind of scared. So we need to kind of keep, make them comfortable. We need to have a way by which they have complete control, their visibility as to what is the data assets they have, whom can they share it with, how do they share, give the consent, and uh, who's actually taken the consent. You know, the whole complete auditing, the whole framework has to be created so that they are, people are comfortable in sharing data. Right? So it has to be made easy for them to be able to share data in a, in a way where they are comfortable with that. The second important stakeholders we really want to target are application developers. Because, okay, I have data, but what do I do with it? Unless you bring in the application developer ecosystem on board, make it very, very easy for them to consume this and develop new applications, it's not, again, going to do uh, too much. So that is the focus of this particular activity is to create that. Uh, we are keeping that in mind while we are designing this. Now, this particular data exchange is essentially, you can think of it as two components. Um, one component is the consent, related to consent service. You know, be able to uh, have a way by which the providers or the guardians of data are able to share data in, in ensuring that there is privacy, there is uh, uh, non-reputability, there is, uh, you know, th there is access control policies which they can define, and there is a way to audit what is happening. So that is one very important piece we, uh, as part of this. The second important piece is a catalog. What are the data assets which are available? Meta information about those assets, who owns them, I and mean, who's the guardian, who's the provider of those assets? Uh, what is the API endpoint to go and get those assets? Uh, things like that. Again, this is from the view of uh, both the consumer uh, slash the app application developer. Right? It should be easy for them to pick up this data. And, uh, and the goal of this particular activity is to actually define these interfaces. 
uh, these APIs uh, to really help a developer to kind of work uh, in this uh, uh, new kind of uh, hopefully framework of uh, uh, creating applications which work off uh, urban data. And, uh, and then uh, with this, uh, we are, the way we are going about this is actually uh, building a consortium of uh, partners, uh, partner companies, working with uh, multiple uh, cities, and uh, creating this uh, standard, as well as from IIC side, creating a reference implementation which will be open source, uh, on which we can uh, kind of showcase uh, these particular uh, standard APIs. Uh, so with that, I've come to the end of my presentation. I'll be uh, happy to discuss later during the coffee break and uh, explore any further collaboration opportunities with uh, uh, various uh, stakeholders, both in India as well as uh, abroad. Thank you.